My name is Kim Reese, and I am from Kitty Coy, Texas. Um, before I met the Lord, I was into um, a lot of drugs, and I had, I had quit drug use, but I was still just on a horrible downward spiral, emotionally and physically. In 1998, I met a friend, and he introduced me to Kenneth Copeland through TV, and I started watching the program for a few months, and then I was born again with Kenneth and Gloria leading me in prayer. Immediately, I had, after accepting the Lord, I had such a hunger and desire to learn everything I could. I would tape Kenneth Copeland broadcasts and listen to him over and over and over. I went to the doctor for my hip, okay, and they did a um, scan and then the x-rays and then they did one of the, I don't know what it's called, but just all those tests. And um, they referred me to a specialist to have a hip replacement. I called my doctor and I said, well, what exactly does the report say? Because I'm not going to this other doctor because I'm not going to have surgery and I'm not going to take all those pills. So just tell me exactly what does the report say? And she read the report verbatim from the um, radiology. And it said that I had this uh, deteriorating something and all this major issues in the hip. And I thought, well, that, I don't receive that. So I didn't talk to them anymore. I went to the convention and had the most excruciating hip pain just out of nowhere. And I'd been dealing with it for months and months and months and months. It was just getting worse and worse. But it, it was pretty bad. It, was, it had gotten to the point where I couldn't even hardly get out of bed without tears. And I could even, couldn't even hardly go up and down the stairs, but my favorite place to sit is up the stairs. So every day I would just, and people passing me by, passing me by, and I'm thinking, I'm not taking the elevators. I'm here to receive my healing. I'm gonna receive my healing. And I just kept confessing that my hip was healed. It was better, it was healed. It's getting better every day. And I was gonna get the full manifestation of my healing. And I did. And all of a sudden one day I went to go up the stairs and I was like, wow, something's different. It doesn't hurt anymore. And so in August, I was like, I'm gonna go back to the doctor and just get a checkup. She goes, I don't know why you're here. You're not gonna listen to me anyway. And I said, well, that's probably true. And she said, well, let's run through some stuff. And so she asked me, well, how's this going? How's this going? How's your hip? And I said, my hip's healed. And she goes, well, what did you do? And I said, I prayed and went to the Believer's Convention and I had hands laid on me and my hip's healed. And she goes, well, that's nice. And I said, she said so what's your pain level? I said, zero. My pain level is zero. And she said, well, that's not possible. And I said, well, it's my hip. And so I think it is possible. And she said, well, let me look at these reports. That just doesn't make any sense. And so she read the report and she looked at the report and she's just shaking her head, kind of confused. She looks at the report, she looks at me, she looks at the report, looks at me. And she said, well, this doesn't make any sense either. And I said, what well, doesn't make sense? She said, well, I know what your report said because I read it and I read it to you and I read it to a colleague. And I said, okay. And she goes, now, I said, well, what's wrong with it? And she said, it says that you have a pinched nerve. So, and she said, I don't understand what happened. And I said, I understand what happened. I said, the same God that healed my hip changed your report. I had a pinched nerve. The pinched nerve is gone and we're, we're fine. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep this hip. 